Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday, the 21st of April. Today is the Queen's birthday. And just like so many of us, she is marking her birthday in the midst of grief. And just by way of testimony, today is also our daughter's birthday. And for someone who was born two and a half months premature, Samara is now a teenager and one of the most priceless gifts God has given us. So whatever we're coming into God's presence with this evening, let's offer it all to him. Because he holds us in our grief and he gives us reason to celebrate the life that he has on offer. So if you want to join me in the daily prayer book, we are on page 269. Our readings for today are Psalm 72 and Luke chapter 1. So let's begin. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvelous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And so we turn to our psalm, which is Psalm 72. If you're in the daily prayer book, it's on page 752. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Give the king your judgments, O God, and your righteousness to the son of a king. Then shall he judge your people righteously and your poor with justice. May the mountains bring forth peace and the little hills righteousness for the people. May he defend the poor among the people, deliver the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. May he live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. May he come down like rain upon the mown grass, like the showers that water the earth. In his time shall righteousness flourish, an abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. May his dominion extend from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May his foes kneel before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall pay tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring gifts. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall do him service. For he shall deliver the poor that cry out, the needy and those who have no helper. He shall have pity on the weak and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence. And dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live. Unto him may be given gold from Sheba. May prayer be made for him continually, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, standing thick upon the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain grow like the grass of the field. May his name remain forever, and be established as long as the sun endures. May all nations be blessed in him, and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. May all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. May your kingdom come, O God. 
with deliverance for the needy, with peace for the righteous, with overflowing blessing for all nations, with glory, honor, and praise for Christ, the only Savior. It's quite fitting that this psalm is about praying for the king, and today we pray for our queen. And like the verse says, long may he live, long may she live. May prayer be made for her continually, and may they bless her. So as we pray for, for the queen, we also remember that in terms of deliverance and peace and righteousness and glory and honor, we call upon the King of Kings. So let's turn to the Gospel of Luke. It's chapter 1, verses 39 to 56. And if you're in the Church Bibles, we're on page 54. And actually, um, in this reading today, we get to, to read the Magnificat, which we usually read as the Gospel Canticle we get to put it into context in, in this gospel narrative. So beginning at verse 39. In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leapt for joy and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for who he has looked with favour on the lowliness of his servant. Surely, from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her for about three months and then returned to her home. Two women in such different circumstances. And as difficult as their circumstances would have been, Elizabeth, who was pregnant um, quite late in life, and Mary, who was only a young teenager, and yet they, they trusted in what God had in store for them. Sometimes when we're going through difficult circumstances, it's difficult to trust that, that God knows what we need, isn't it? But like Elizabeth said in that reading today, she was filled with the Holy Spirit when her cousin greeted her, when Mary greeted her. And let's look for opportunities. What is it that fills us with his spirit. His spirit is, is the one God offers us to be, to be our, our advocate, to be the one who comforts us, to, to be the one who brings us peace. So as we respond to that in the responsory on page 272, let's ask to be filled with more of his spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. 
he has become my salvation. So let's turn to a time of prayer and intercession. There are needs that we bring before him, but there are things to be thankful for. So yes, let's, let's remember to pray for the queen. And it's quite a big day in terms of justice. Even when we were reading the Psalm, it's about defending the, the needy and the poor. Um, and in terms of the outcome last night with the George Floyd trial, with, with Derek Chauvin being, being found guilty, it's a beacon of light. It's justice. It's, there's so much more to do. There's so much more to do for us to, for us to strive for justice, but we do it one thing at a time. So let's pray for those who continue to be affected by, by injustice. And yes, a few people to pray for in our community. So we'll, we'll, we'll pray for them. And again, let's continue to pray for economic well-being. today being Wednesday, and that's the theme for prayer for the nation. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your spirit. We thank you that you are King of Kings and that, Father, justice and peace and righteousness are what you gift us with. Father, we thank you that whatever circumstances we may find ourselves in, that we can know that we are held. And Father, like Mary and Elizabeth today, we want to trust you. We want to proclaim your goodness. We want to rejoice in you, our Savior. And Father, we want to pray for, for those who, who struggle for, for justice. Father, we want to remember today those around the world who who struggle to have their basic needs met. Father, we, we ask that you as King of Kings will, will provide for the needy. And Father, that you will raise up people in the communities across the world to, to speak up a Father, to, to advocate and to stand in the gap. Father, we want to remember the world that struggles on through this pandemic, and we ask for, for various needs to be met. Today, we pray for economic well-being. But Father, we know that there is so much more that, that people are struggling with. Father, some nations who have um, been affected by, by another deluge of this pandemic. We pray especially for Brazil and India. And so Father, while people um, struggle with ill health, people mourn the loss of loved ones. Father, for all of us who feel lonely and isolated, Father, we pray that you will meet us at the point of our need. And Father, that you will remind us that as much as we try to satisfy all of our longings, there is only you who can satisfy our deepest longing and our deepest needs. But Father, thank you that you are a God who, who even took care of the practicalities. And I pray that you will make us mindful of the needs of those around us. So Father, we want to continue to pray for the Queen this day. Father, we thank you for her life. We thank you for all that you have seen her through. And Father, particularly, we ask that you will see her through this, this period of grief. Father, we thank you for the way you strengthen her. And Father, we pray that you will continue to be her refuge and her portion. And as we think of leaders, 
And as we think of the need for justice in the world and in our various nations, Father, we, we thank you for um, justice that was done last night in the, in the verdict for, for George Floyd. Father, we pray that you, you, will, you will have mercy on Derek Chauvin that as he has the time to, to reflect on his actions. Father, yes, um, the jury found him guilty and for his actions, he is guilty. Father, we thank you that, that you have come to redeem him as well. So we pray for every part of our world that is hurting, especially, your oh Father, every part that is hurting because of racial injustice. And we pray that you will heal wounds. Father, we long for that day when every tribe, every people, every nation will be brought before your throne of grace and mercy. And Father, as we, as we bring our prayers closer home, we pray for people in our community. Father, we continue to pray for all of those who are, some of them who are battling for their lives as well, oh Father. We wanna pray for, for M and for Kirsty, for their, for their cancer diagnosis, oh Father. Father, so young as they are. And Father, they've got this, this treatment of Father that, that already sounds like um, it's going to be such an uphill battle. But Father, we pray for, for your strength. We pray for your peace. We pray for endurance, O oh Father, that you will surround them just as the mountains surround Jerusalem, O oh Father, the psalmist reminds us that you surround your people and we ask that you will surround them. We pray for their families, that you will give them strength. Father, and as we continue to pray for those who are unwell, Father, we bring to your throne Virgil. Father, he is on life support. Father, we ask that even in this critical condition that you will be his life support. Father, that, that you will surround him, that you will bless him. Oh, Father, we continue to remember his faith. And Father, we pray for his family, that you will give them peace that passes all understanding. Father, we continue to pray for, for Rahim and the, the fall that he had and the head injury. Father, we pray that all will be well. Father, we continue to pray for Jess's dad as, she, um, as he recovers. And Father, we pray for Jess and the family as her uncle Tommy is laid to rest today. And Father, at this time, we want to bring to you every other need that is on our hearts. So let's offer that to Jesus now. And as we bring you our needs, O oh Father, we want to come to you with gratitude for the way you continue to sustain us. Father, thank you for life. Thank you for opportunities like this that we can connect. And thank you, O oh Father, for you are King of Kings. Hear our prayer, for in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. And we're going to continue to declare that he is King of Kings with this next song. And we're going to continue to claim the power of his resurrection in our lives.
So let's turn to our collect for this evening. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten son to the death of the cross and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So thank you for being with me this evening. And as you go through the rest of this evening, I pray that, that you will discover moments like Mary and Elizabeth did, where you will be filled by his spirit. God bless you, church. <laughs>